So today I'm bringing you another SSF2 tutorial and today we're going to be playing Chibi Robo. So Chibi Robo, kind of a quirky character, really unique. He's um, pretty much only in SSF2 and nothing else I believe. <laughs> um, but yeah, pretty pretty cool character, pretty pretty fun to play. Um, a lot of people don't play him because you know it's fucking Chibi Robo, no one knows what the series is from and he looks stupid as hell. But yeah, a pretty fun character to play if you guys can get good with him. And hopefully, hopefully, wow, hopefully this tutorial will help. So yeah, uh, let's start off with his jab. Just a quick one-two, not gonna waste your time. Um, you can use this, I guess. I don't like using it too much. Uh, it doesn't like no percent and barely any knockback. Uh, after that, we've got F tilt. So he does like a sort of jab thing. Uh, it, it does uh, decent damage and a uh, knockback, which is nice, but I just use dash attack because it's so much quicker to use and uh, a lot less committal. Plus, it knocks them up, which is really useful for a lot of combos. But yeah, yeah, dash attack knocks them up. Useful for a lot of combos. Uh, but yeah, you're, you're gonna want to get them in the air to use your aerials on them. Uh, your ground game is pretty good, but your aerials are also kind of cracked, so I'd, I'd recommend using those more often. Man, how light is Isaac? He's dying to like all of these areas. This is kind of crazy. Okay, fuck you, Isaac. Um, after that we've got his down tilt. So, down tilt, pretty good move. It's got a decent range. Uh, doesn't do too much damage, but it is pretty quick. Not as quick as Ness's. This character is actually very similar to Ness. Uh, so you know I'll be making a lot of comparisons here and there. But yeah. Uh, overall, a uh, pretty good move, useful for at the ledge, if they have like a big hurt box, you can use that. After that we've got- okay. <laughs> Never mind. After that we've got up tilt, so up tilt, pretty good move, um, kind of slow for an up tilt, but uh, does great- uh, not great knockback, but has great knockback scaling, uh, you can't- I've seen it kill at like 163, but you're not gonna use it for killing, you're gonna use it for um, comboing people up into the air. Kind of useful as an anti-air. Only problem is the hitbox is horizontal. It's like a it's a pretty big horizontal hitbox. Not too much in the vertical. I believe right when there's a flash, there's a, a tipper, which I guess might be used to kill. But it's kind of difficult to land the tipper, so you know be careful about throwing that out too often. But yeah, overall uh, an okay move. All right, moving on to his smash attacks. S smash is the one you're going to be using the most often. It's got insane range. Yeah, this match is going by quickly. It's got insane range, reaches like crazy far over the ledge. Uh, useful if they have like a pretty predictable recovery, kind of like Chibi Robo. I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, yeah, uh, has a hitbox even in the back. Has a hitbox in the back, which is awesome uh, because it can cover like rolls and stuff like that. Uh, admittedly, not very well, but you know, there's great knockback and just a general pretty good smash deck. You know, N not too much, uh, not too much to complain about here. Apparently kills at 80. Okay, Jesus Christ, how light is this character? Alright, moving on, we've got Up Smash. So, Up Smash, only thing, um, it's one of those hitboxes that, or one of those moves that has a, a pretty big, uh, pretty strong, uh, vertical hitbox, but problem is, you, uh, if you want to use it on the ground, uh, a lot of moves like Chibi Robo's Up Smash will have another hitbox near his foot, and that foot will, uh, that, like, foot hitbox will be useful in comboing people up to it. Basically, um, there's a there's the, there's the smash deck hitbox, and then there's a, a special comboing hitbox that pushes people up into that hitbox. It's kind of it's kind of complicated, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. That hitbox is super inconsistent, but the main smash deck is also is really really good. So kills kills pretty early. After that, we've got his down smash. So probably one of his least useful moves. It's very powerful, but. It's slow. It's slow. It's it's decent for reads. It it doesn't have a very good range. And a big problem is it does horizontal knockback. Like it doesn't do pure horizontal knockback. But the problem is it trades in that hor uh, it trades in a lot of vertical knockback for horizontal knockback, which really sucks because it, it's gonna end up sending people like up and to the right when you really just want it to go up, which is you know kind of frustrating because it doesn't it like look at that. Like, sure, it gets them off stage. You have other ways of getting them off stage. You don't need to use Down Smash. And Down Smash is just so slow that it's, it's difficult to use. It doesn't even have two-framing potential, I think, because uh, it doesn't extend below the ledge. Or, you know, it, it does to an extent, but not really. After that, we've got a... Uh, oh, that's all the Smash decks. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we can go over his specials now, since, you know, Pichu's throwing out fucking... I don't know what this is. Electroshot? What is it called? Thundershock? 
Okay. That was that was my amazing version. That was my amazing way of uh, catching that. But uh, side, I guess we could talk about side B right now. So side B completely useless. Um, well, not completely useless. Okay, you use it for horizontal recovery. TB Robo has a shit horizontal recovery. Um, or not not completely terrible, but like when he uses a when he uses his up B, it doesn't go horizontally at all. So you're gonna end up using this off stage. Kind of inconsistent. Doesn't do any percent. Doesn't do any damage. Really not uh, a move worth using, uh, unless you're recovering, of course. In which case, it's really useful. Down B pocket. So basically. Yeah, it's just Villager's pocket. He, he picks up a projectile if you can if you can time it right, and uh, he can he can just catch it and use it. So let's see if I can pull it off. Is it still in there? Yep. Uh, I don't believe it increases the damage by anything. I think it I think it might, but I don't think it's significant. Glitchiest move in the game. Don't use down B unless you're like absolutely certain that it's gonna work. Don't use it. You're gonna end up taking damage, and you're gonna be in the, you're gonna end up like getting put into a bad position. But yeah, I think it works on Pichu's electrical shock, so that's nice. But it doesn't work on um, projectiles with a really big hitbox. Yeah, this character's quick. After that, we've got his neutral B. So projectile, really good projectile actually. Um, really quick, uh, really quick. You can aim it too, which is nice. If you want to angle it a bit upward, it's useful for catching people out of the air because people uh, tend to approach uh, via jumping and throwing out an aerial, which is, you know, it's really good for catching that. It's also useful for racking up percents off stage. Uh, you can also kind of angle it uh, downwards, but only when you're in the air, so I don't know how useful that's going to be. I personally don't use it very often, but that's just that's just me. I, I don't like using projectiles in the neutral, especially since he's got some great aerials. After that, we've got Uppy. So Uppy, great move, actually. Um, has a pretty crazy hitbox, multi-hit, does a ton of damage. Um, I believe it's like... 15 to 20%, we can check, I guess, but a really good move overall, Does it, it's really good vertically, horizontally though, again, you're going to end up using his uh, toothbrush, just to compensate for that, because it's going to get it's gonna get really annoying, uh, you're, you're not going to be able to drift too far, I believe this will make it back, but yeah, just be warned. Uh, also, another thing that you should be warned about, you're not going to get, you're not going to end up getting Wedgehog too often, but... At the end there, the hitbox does give out, and it, he'll start to like, he'll, he'll keep going upwards, but he won't have a hitbox. So if you're really low, be careful, they can edge hog you. Oh, uh, but yeah. Yeah, honestly, um, his specials are decent. I don't use them too often, though. Now let's move on to his area, this is the fun part. So, fair sends them upwards. He's like, he does the scoop motion, it's got a decent hitbox. It's not a crazy disjoint, but it is pretty good. But yeah, um, it's not crazy disjoint, but it, it is it is decent. After this, we've got I wanted to go over fair first, but it does knock them up, which is very useful since you want to keep your opponents in the air for your other uh, aerials. Neutral air also really good. Uh, be careful because the the hitbox is kind of like higher than it's supposed to be. So if they have, if you have a short character, it might it might miss them. But yeah, it's a great multi hit. Very similar to Ness's, I believe. Um, a lot of his aerials are similar to Ness's actually. Um, but yeah, uh, does decent damage, does pretty good knockback especially. I've seen it kill like, at the, or not, not like that though. I've seen it kill at the ledge, or at the ledge at a at decent percent, plus it comes out pretty quickly, so a pretty good move overall. Then we've got the cream of the crop, or yeah, I guess, I guess you could consider that the up air. So, up air, really fun move to throw out. Super cool, <laughs> super, super gamer moment here. Um, does really good knockback. <laughs> As you can see, up air pushes them horizontally. It doesn't push them up, it pushes them forward. Just like back or just like forward air pushes them up. It's pretty fucking stupid. But um yeah, uh, be warned, it, I don't think it has a hitbox at the end, but you can use it in this way, which is super cool. So if you if you um like sort of face backwards and then use it, it can push them back, which is a, a really fun edge guarding trick and looks super stylish. But yeah, mostly you're going to be pushing them sideways. It does pretty good knockback, and it's got some crazy range. Just be careful, because I do think you need to hit the tipper for it to be effective. Okay, and uh, down air. Oh, yeah, yeah. Down air and back air. So down air, crazy disjoint again, like a lot of his aerials. He uses the electrical cord. Uh, pretty powerful spike. Really, um, you're going to... Or not pretty powerful, but, you know, a pretty good spike. You're going to be using this for um, landing, mostly, because it's, it's, even though it's slow, it's pretty easy to throw out, since it's got such a crazy range. 
but yeah a great spike for edge guarding too um especially since you know you don't have to worry about if their hitbox has a uh if their recovery has a hitbox or not since you know you can just outrange it and uh then back air just nesses back air it's a pretty powerful you know horizontal hit hard to space comes out quickly but also doesn't stay out for too long so you know yeah uh small ish hitbox but not as small as it might seem Pretty good, pretty good overall. I, I'd say it's, it's decent and uh, a useful move for killing if you're having trouble getting those uh, late percent kills. All right, now onto his grabs. So his grabs are kind of useful. You're gonna be using up throw up air 90% of the time. I don't think it's a true combo. I think if they di properly, you can uh, they can get out of it. But a lot of times, you know, they won't be expecting it. Just up throw up air usually ends up, you know doing something at least it'll either get them off stage or it might even kill at like some late percents but you know don't don't spam it they're gonna figure out what you're doing forward throw uh kind of shit it doesn't it doesn't combo i don't think uh it's got like a horrendous base knockback so you're not gonna be using it for comboing or killing and okay that recovery was awful but yeah uh not very useful i wouldn't recommend using it Maybe as like a push them off stage, but you have other ways of doing that as I told you. Then you've got down throw. So down throw, another like sort of combo move. It, it doesn't have like any knockback, but I've been having trouble, you know, like using it properly. But I think you can combo into Nair as I showed you right there. Also Nair apparently does downward knockback. That's kind of crazy. And uh, yeah. Uh, finally we've got back throw. So back throw, I believe this is a kill throw. Um, I'm doing a shit job of showing it right now, but since he's at a pretty low percent, but really good for getting them off stage, really good for, um, you know, setting up those edge guarding, uh, edge guarding positions, but overall a pretty good throw. I, I really, like, again, I say put them off stage, but this is, uh, this is a relatively safe way of doing it. Also, really quickly, I do want to say this, um, he can angle his throws, so this doesn't come up very often, but you can angle, uh, his grab. So that like it'll, it'll 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 go up like you can do this the standard throw or the standard grab where you just you just flings that in front of them or you can push it up if Mega Man would let me thank you or you can angle it up and it'll uh it should have a grab hitbox there too which is pretty nice but not really that useful but yeah that's a that's Chibi Robo I don't really have too much to say about this character either a you're a god and you know all about this character or b you're never gonna touch this guy with a ten foot pole so. You know, I, I, I'd still recommend that you play him. He can be pretty fun, and he, he's got some great things that he can do. Uh, Pocket is hilarious when you can, you know, use it properly, but, you know, hopefully hopefully they fix that sometime soon in the next, like, 10 years or so. But, yeah, TV Robo. Kind of quirky, though. Okay, and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, uh, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you